Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I am Cisco CCNA, CCMP and Palo Alto certified instructor. In this video we are covering CCNA 1 and this is our chapter 5, Number Systems. Now this is the third video of chapter 5 and it's our lab, 5.3 lab converting between the number systems. We have three numbering systems that we should be able to convert from, binary, hexadecimal and decimal. Now I've got this table for you and uh, so I've got some binary digits that I want you to convert them to hexadecimal and decimal. I've got the hexadecimal digits that you should be able to convert them into binary and decimal. And then decimal digits that you should be able to convert them to hexadecimal and then to binary. So we have learned them on previous lesson. In 5.1 we have learned uh, uh, how to convert from binary to decimal. In 5.2 we looked at dec hexadecimal as well. So if you are ready you should pause the video and convert, do the conversion yourself. And then once we, uh, then restart the video, once you're ready, restart the video and we're going to do the conversion together. So I'm going to give a few seconds for you to pause the video. Okay, now I think you have paused it, you've done it, you completed this. Anyway, we're going to do it together here. So the best way to convert from binary into hexadecimal is to split these binary digits into four bits here. So I split them on the left, on the right four bits, and then on the left four bits here. These bits, for example, it will be uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, and this is as well. So 1, 2, 4, Eight, that will positional values. So whatever these digit is going to come on the right side of the hexadecimal digit and these four bits it's on the left side of the hexadecimal digit. So for example this is uh, this represents four and nothing on the other ones so it's four here. And then we look at this represents eight right and this represents two so eight and two is ten plus one is eleven so this is a B four. So in a he in a hexadecimal, the first is a B it was B4. So let me get rid of some of these stuff here. And uh, I'll write it uh, B4 here. So we got. And then we have to convert this into decimal as well. So the decimal was 1 to 8 plus 32. That's 160. 176 plus 4, 180. So this is 180 here. And then and the next thing again, I'm just going to convert, split this into fours, two fours. So we got the, the left and the right. And the right one is going to be this one. So eight and one is nine. So nine here. And then uh, again, eight and one is nine. So 99. So that digit, these digits are 99 in hexadecimal values. So let me get rid of this. And then uh, I'll convert this into decimal. So this is 1 to 8 plus 16. So that's a 1, 7, uh, 1, 3, 8, 1, 4, 4 plus 8, 1, 4, 4 plus 8, uh, 1, 5, 2, 1, 5, 3. There we go. That's 1, 5, 3 in decimal. Okay. And the next one, we're going to convert, we're going to split it again. There we go. So on the right, you can see there's nothing, so 0. On the left, you can see this uh, 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So, sorry, 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So, uh, E is so E0. There we go. And then we're going to convert this into decimal. So, if I look into decimal to convert it, um, we say, okay, this bit here is 1 to 8 plus 64, that's 192, plus 32 is 2 to 4. So that's in 2 to 4 into decimal. Excellent. And again, now when we convert, if we want to convert this into, for example, the hexadecimal to convert them, hexadecimal is the best way to split them. So I'll do the A on these four bits here, and then the B on these four bits here. Right? So A, if you remember in decimal, was 10. So I'll put 1, 0, 1, 0. That's 10. B was 11, so I'll put 1, 0, 1, 1. That is conversion BA into binary. Now, now to convert it into decimal, I need to add them. So 1 to 8, plus 32, 160, plus 16, 176, plus 8, 184, plus 2, 186. 
Okay. Now the next is 10. Again, the 10 I will split it into two, and and write it here. So 10. So zero. That's for the zero on the right side, and then one. Then I will put one zero 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 one. That's 10. And uh, if I want to convert this into decimal, that's going to be this is 16. That's it, 16. So 10 in hexadecimal value is 16 in decimal value. And now we need to convert from decimal into binary and then to hexadecimal. So 144, for example, to convert that, we look at this, the highest leftmost binary bit. If it's smaller than 144, we put 1. So yes, 128 is smaller than 144. So I'll put 144 here and I have to subtract 128 from it. So that's going to be, it left me with uh, 6 and 16 left. So then I'll put 64 is bigger, so I'll put 0 there. 32 is bigger number, so I'll put 0. 16 is equal to, so I'll put 1. And then 16 minus 16 is 0, so I'm left with all zeros in the end. So to convert it to hexadecimal, split it into two. So the right, it's 0. And the left bit is 8 plus 1 is 9, so 90. So 144 is 90 in hexadecimal, or 1001, 0000 in the binary. Okay, and I'll take the last example. It's uh, 93. Now 93 in the binary, for example, I can look at uh, 93. It's uh, 128 is bigger than 93, so I'll put 0 here. 64 is smaller than 93, so I'll put 1 there. Well, I have to subtract 64 from 93. So I can get a new target. So that will be 9, and that will be 29 left. 32 is bigger than 29, so I'll put 0 there. 16 is smaller than 29, so I have to put 1 there and then subtract 16. So that will be 3, 13 left. 8 is smaller than 13, that's our new target, so I'll put 1 there. And uh, 13 minus 8 will be 5, so that will be 1, and 1 there, that's 5. So that's your 93 into binary. 93 into binary is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now to convert it into hexadecimal, again, I just need to split it into two, right? So I'll do this one. It's going to be my left and then the right. Left is, this is 4 plus 1 is 5. And then the right one, we look 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. D. Okay, so 5D. So that's your table. I hope you got it right, and I hope everything is clear. Thank you for watching this lesson, or this lab, 5.3, Converting Between Number Systems. This is of Chapter 5, Number Systems. Please have a look at my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye-bye.